the water nigh so near that I sit not dry. Into the ship will I flee, and therefore will I hide. For dread that I drown here. <laughs> Set! <laughs> Lord, I were at ease and in heart quite whole. Might I once have a mess of widow's coal? For thy soul without lies should I deal penny dole, as would more, and no fuss, as I see in this hall, among wives that are here, from the lives that they've led, wish their husbands were dead. <laughs> Yet as ever eat I bread, so wish I our sire were. Ye men that have wives, whilst they are young, if you love your own lives, chastise their tongue. Oh, methinks my heart rives and my liver and lung to see such like strifes wedded men among. Now, to my helm will I hint, and to my ship a tent. I see in the firmament, methinks, the seven stars. Ah, this is a great flood, wife take heed. So methought as I stood, we are in great dread, these waves are so woed. And God help us in our need, as thou art steersman good, and the best as I read of all. Thou rulers in this race, as thou did me promise. This is a perilous case. Help God when we call. <laughs> Will therefore abate as God did reveal. I am aghast, it has waned a great deal. Oh, the weathers have ceased and cataracts up knit, both the most and the least. Methinks by my wit the sun shines in the east. Lo, is not yond it. We should have a good feast were these floods split, so spite us. We have been here all we three hundred days and fifty. Oh, now wanes the sea. Lord, well is us! What grand may this be? The hills of our many. Dame, therefore thou counsel me. What fowl might best know how, with flight of its wing, to bring without tarrying of mercy some tokening, either from north or from south? A branch, it seems to me. It is sooth, birdie, right so it is called. Dove, thou bird fully blessed, fair may thee be formed. Thou art true to thy tryst, a stone in a wall. Oh, well, it I wist, thou'd come back to thy hall. 
a true tokenist, we shall be saved all. For why? The water since she come, of deepness to plumb, is fallen a fathom and more, certainly. <laughs> and company we knew before. Dame, all are drowned. Oh. Oh, let be thy din, for soon they bought their sins full sore. Good living let us now begin, that we may grieve our God no more. He set his bow clearly to ken, as a token twixt him and us, for knowledge of all Christian men, that since this world was finished thus, with water would ne'er be waste again. Thus has God, most of might, set up his sign full clear. Up in the air in height, the rainbow it is right, as men may see in sight in seasons of the year. Abraham am I named, and patriarch of age full old. Yet by the grace of God is bred in mine old age a child full bold. Isaac, lo, his name is told, my sweet son that standeth me by. Among all children that walk on ward, a lovelier child is none, truly. I thank God without full mild of his great mercy and his high grace, but principally for my sweet child, that shall to me do great solace. Now, my sweet son, so fair of face, full heartily do I love thee. But two hours he loved now in this place. My sweet child, come kiss now me. At your bidding, your mouth I kiss. With lowly heart I you pray. Your fatherly love let me never miss. But bless me, your child, both night and day. And may no man love better his child than Isaac here is loved to me. Almighty God, merciful and mild. For my sweet son, I worship thee. I thank thee, God, with heart full free, for this fair fruit thou hast me sent. Now, gracious God, where so he be, to save my son evermore be bent. Abraham, my servant Abraham. Oh, Lord, already here I am. Deck Isaac, the loved little lamb, in whom the heart takes all delight, and cut his throat upon yon height, in sacrifice his blood to spill, with sword and fire upon yon hill. Abraham, the son Isaac, must that kill. Lord, to thee is my intent ever to be obedient. That son that thou to me hast sent, offer I will to thee. I, God, Lord, Omnipotent, thy bidding, Lord, done shall be. Make thee ready, my dear darling. We must do a little thing. This wood do thou on thy back bring. We may no longer bide. And fire and sword that I will take. A sacrifice me behoves to make. God's bidding I will not forsake, but ever obedient be. Father, I am ready to do your bidding most meekly, to bear this wood full bound of my as ye commanded me. Oh, Isaac, my darling dear, my blessing do I give you here. Take up this faggot with good cheer, and on your back it bring, and fire with us I will take. Your bidding I will not forsake. Father, haste now will I make to fulfil your bidding. Now, Isaac, son, go we our way. To yonder mount, if that we may. Oh, my heart will break in three. To hear thy words, I have pity. 
As thou wilt, Lord. So must it be. Why make you so heavy cheer? I out a dread. Father, if it be thy will, where's the beast that we shall kill? Thereof, son, is none upon this hill that I see here upon this stead. Father, I'm full sore of fear to see you bear that sharpened knife. I hope by all my tender life you will not slay your child. Dread thee not, my child, I read. The Lord will send of his godhead. Some banner of beast into this field, either tame or wild. Father, tell me or I go, whether I shall arm or no. Oh, dear God, that me is woe. How burst my heart in sunder. Father, tell me of this case, why you your sword outdrawn us? And bears it naked in this place, thereof I have great wonder. Oh, Isaac, son, peace, I pray thee. Thou breaks my heart and on in three. I pray you, Father, hide nothing from me, but tell me what you think. Isaac, Isaac, I must thee kill. Last father, is that you will? Your own child put a spill upon this ill steep brink. If I've trespassed in any degree where you stick, you may beat me. Both your sword, if you will be, for I'm both child. Oh, my dear son, I am sorry to do to thee this great annoy. God's commandment do must I. His work to I for mild. Is it God's will I shall be slain? Son, I cannot hide from you. It is God's bidding I must do. Then you must do what God has bid. But tell not me mother what you did. <laughs> Isaac, Isaac. <laughs> Blessed must thou be. Almost my wit I lose for thee. The blood of thy body so free, I am for loath to shed. Father, since you must needs do so, let it pass lightly and overgo. Kneeling upon my knees too, your blessing on me spread. My blessing, dear son, give I thee, and thy mother's with art so free. The blessing of the Trinity, my dear son, on thy light. Pray, Father, I my nine, that I need see not the sword so keen. You stroke, Father, I would not spy, lest I against it scream or cry. My dear son Isaac, speak no more. Thy words make my heart full sore. Oh, dear father, wherefore, wherefore? Since I must needs be dead, of one thing I would you pray. Since I must die the death today, as few strokes as ye well may, when ye smite off my head. Thy meekness, child, makes me afraid. My soul may be all well away. Oh, dear father, do we, do we? You're making a much mourn. Oh, truly, Father, this talking doth but make long tarrying. Pray you come and make ending. And let me hence be gone. <laughs> 